What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Fortnite Zadie Twitter header. Um, and I'll also be showing you guys how to make a matching YouTube banner for the skin as well. Um, and as always, I will show you guys, you know, in depth how to customize it for yourself. And I'll also show you guys how to make, you know, the YouTube version. And I'll also show you guys how to make the Twitter version. So if you guys could drop a like on this video, I would greatly appreciate it. And also I got this suggestion for this skin in the comment section of my last video. So if you guys have any recommendations of what kind of skin you guys want to see just go ahead and drop it in the comments down below and i usually just choose one that has like the most comments or the most likes or whatever and on that note i do also appreciate the recent support on the channel i'm gonna be trying to do more graphics tutorials because you guys have just been really really enjoying them and i feel like it's time to just kind of push out a lot of them and i also have been paying really close attention to the comment section you guys also have been really wanting the 3d text tutorial for pixlr so i have that coming in a few days as well so again if you guys don't have that notification bell on as well make sure to go ahead and turn that on and with that being said let's go ahead and just jump into today's tutorial Now, before we get too far into the tutorial, I want to briefly go over all the stuff that I'm going to provide for you guys. So first, make sure to go to the top link in the description. It's actually a Google Drive link. Make sure to go ahead and click that. And in there, you're going to see this folder right here. And just make sure to download all of this stuff right here to your desktop or to a folder that you have named and that you know where it is. In here, I'm going to briefly go over everything because it seems like a lot, but it really isn't. The first thing is we have the font. Now, I've used this many times before. Um, if you guys want to see a full tutorial on how to get fonts into Pixlr, I'll leave a little card up. And we also so I have two templates that I'm giving you guys today for the Twitter one. You guys can choose whichever one you want. This is just a red and a blue version. Then we also have one with the chains that I have pre-added. So this one can be really useful if you guys don't want to add the chain render yourself. But I also obviously did provide a PNG or a transparent version of this if you guys do want to add that. And quickly go over everything. We have the social media icons as always um, in the tutorials. These are in all white because it's probably like the best color to be using to match this template color and everything like that. But we also have a few different skin variations you guys can use whichever one you want um we also have a youtube banner template grid as well if you guys are going to be wanting to use this as a youtube banner so again just download all of that and we're going to get out of there and then this is actually what the final versions look like this is actually the one i made with this render um again that render will be in that link um in the google drive and then this is kind of how it all looks with the chain and everything. I think it looks really cool. The reason I made a different one is because I didn't really know how good this Arctic version of this skin really looked on this one. But I will provide that version if you guys do think this one looks better. And then the last thing actually that I forgot to put in here that I will put in here now is actually the YouTube banner template. Um, as you guys know, I'm always providing the YouTube one and the Twitter one now and all of the tutorials. So if we go ahead and double click on this one, um, we can see here that I do have the specific version for YouTube. I think it looks really good. And then I also do have what the final version here um, that you guys can also see on the thumbnail of what it kind of looks like when it's all said and done. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and head to our browser. We're going to go ahead and head to pixlr.com. Um, we're going to go ahead and head to Pixlr E as well. Um, I'll have a link in the description if you guys don't want to type it into your browser. Now, what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you guys quick how to do the Twitter one. Um, it's going to be the same thing as pretty much every other tutorial here on my channel. Um, we're going to go to open image and we're actually going to go ahead and find that folder that we just downloaded from the link in the description. Here I have the Zadie tutorial assets, which is what it's called. And then I'm going to find whatever template I want to use for Twitter as I have a couple options. I'm going to go ahead and just use the blue and the red one for now because I think it looks really good and simple. Now it's already formatted and everything like that and it's already locked as well so all we need to do here is add our render and we're going to add our text and also our social media so the first thing i'm going to do is go to layer i'm going to go to add image as layer and i'm going to find whatever render that i want to use um, i really do think that this blue and red one looks the best in my opinion so i'm going to double click it and then as you guys can see it does come off a little big so we're going to go to edit free transform and we are just going to drag this down until it fits I'm also just going to rotate this a little bit as well so it kind of looks a little bit more up and down. I'm going to make it a tad bigger here. And I think this is where I want it, right about here. Now, I'm going to first go to the Zaddy render. I'm going to click the three dots and I'm going to lock that right away so I don't end up moving it. And then I'm also going to make sure I'm selected on that layer. I'm going to go to adjustment. I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. Just going to give it a little bit of contrast and a little bit of brightness as well to make it look a bit nicer. Now let's go ahead and add our text to this. So we're gonna go to the text tool right down here. We're gonna click on the text and we're gonna click wherever on the picture and we're gonna click add. And now I'm just gonna make sure that we have our font selected. Um, that one that I actually used in this tutorial in specific 
is the uh, Kyra Expanded, I believe that's how you say it. It will be again in the Google Drive if you guys want to click it. Um, if you guys don't already have it installed, make sure to just go to hit add local font and then just go ahead and find your um, font file, which again is in that Google Drive. And then all you have to do is double click it and it will say font added or font already added if you have it. Then all you have to do is find it in this little um, list right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click it and I'm gonna make sure my color is on white or whatever color that uh, you guys want to use in specific then you're just going to type out your name i'm just going to put ice and then i'm going to make sure i am dragging on it i'm going to make sure i'm on the text tool again i'm going to click the size drop down and i'm just going to drag this up a bunch and i'm also going to go to styles or actually i believe it's in format yeah i'm going to go to format i'm also going to make this italic just because i think it looks um, a bit cooler here um, i'm going to unlock this layer and just going to Use the arrow key to move it over a little bit to make room a little bit for our text. And I think that is looking about good right about here. Now, if we go back and look at the thumbnail and we look at the final version, you guys are going to see I have my YouTube logo and then I also have my YouTube name down here. Now, again, in that Google Drive I mentioned before, um, there's going to be an Instagram one, a Twitter one, and I believe I offered a, um, a Twitch one as well. And they all are in a white color and they are transparent as well. So you guys don't have to like do anything um, to them to go ahead and add them. So, but for me, you know, obviously YouTube is my main platform. So I'm just going to put YouTube for myself. We're going to go to layer. We're going to go to add image as layer. And I'm just going to click on the YouTube white. I'm going to double click it. And I don't want to move that render. So I'm going to again, go to the three dots and lock it again. I uh, always forget it. It's like actually the worst thing ever. I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the YouTube white. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to free transform and I'm going to grab that. And I'm just going to put it down here wherever. I'm going to click apply. Then I'm going to go back to the text tool. I'm going to click wherever to add a new text layer. And I'm just going to type in slash ice. And I also do want to make this italic as well. I believe in format. There we go. I'm going to type in ice kicks. And I also do want that um, in a white color. I don't know why it defaults to this turquoise color every time. Uh, we're also going to click the size button. I'm going to drag this down because it does not need to be um, as big as the other one was we do not want to be moving all of this stuff around I'm gonna lock my main text as well. So we don't end up moving that either I'm gonna grab the one below it and drag it down here. I forgot the slash Right here. Then I'm gonna go to the size again I'm Just gonna drag it down a bit Then all we need to do is place it right about here and then also if you guys would want like part of it blue um, I'm just gonna make the second half blue. So I'm just gonna drag this over here real quick and then i'm going to go to the three dots here i'm just going to duplicate this one i'm going to drag it all the way over using the arrow key on my keyboard i'm going to put this as kicks Ooh, that's not uh what i want to do here and i want to make this color a dark blue because i think that looks pretty cool here and we're going to drag it over right about here now these two layers right here, the ones that I'm making disappear along with the YouTube icon, I'm gonna start at the top one right here. Um, I'm gonna go to the three dots and I'm going to go to merge down. I'm gonna click the three dots again and merge that down one more time. Then that kind of gives it all into one thing so I can move it around however I like. Now, all that's left to do is go ahead and go to file, save, and then go ahead and drag quality up to 100%. Make sure the width is 1500. Make sure the height is 500. Make sure it's on JPG and name it whatever you want. Uh, you can just name it Fortnite header and then just go ahead and click download and that should be your Twitter header um, completely done. You guys can go ahead and put it on your profile or uh, do whatever you'd like with it. So I'm actually going to keep this open. Um, we're going to go ahead and get onto the YouTube version because it's going to be a little bit easier. Um, we're going to go to the plus button. And I'm actually just going to open another tab um, of Pixlr E and I find this to be the easiest process of making one um, into the other. If you guys want to do both the header and the YouTube banner, we're going to go to open image and we're actually going to do the YouTube banner template grid. Again, this grid is in pretty much every single tutorial, but it's in that Google Drive um, if you guys don't have it yet. Um, this is a file that you guys are probably going to need if you guys are starting GFX, you know, pretty much all the time. So we're going to double click that. Um, we're going to make sure it's on original all the way on the left. We don't want to change the resolution of that at all. 
but we're going to click apply and we're going to go to layer add image as layer and then i only have one template for the youtube banner um, but we're going to double click that and then it automatically puts it in um, again we're going to go to the three dots on the um, template that we just added and we're going to lock that layer so we do not move it at all um, we definitely don't want to shift it around at all it will mess up the format a little bit so if i go back to the original one right here we had this youtube thing merged so it all is one now this actually helps us out a lot because if i select that layer and I go to select pixels. Um, as you guys can see, it selects it. I'm gonna go to edit. I'm gonna go to copy. I'm gonna go to the other one, our YouTube banner. I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna go to paste and then it's gonna paste it right in for us. So all we have to do is pretty much put it wherever we want it, go back. Um, I'm gonna go to select and deselect to kind of clear it out. And I'm gonna go to the text here. I'm gonna go to select and I'm gonna go to select pixels. I can just go to edit, copy, go back, edit, paste. I'm gonna drag it all the way above. And as you guys can see, we have our text in too, which is super, super convenient. And then all we can do is we can do that for the render as if you guys want the same like render position. Um, it's really, really simple. Just do the same exact process for each layer that you guys wanna add and shift over. Once you guys are all done with the YouTube banner, um, again, making sure that what you guys want is in the desktop minimum in mobile section. Just make sure to try to center it as much as you guys can. Um, you can go to file and you can go to save and you guys can name it whatever you want um, just name it YouTube banner new new version or something like that I don't know uh, make sure it's on JPG drag the quality all the way up to 100% um, again double check that the width and height is matching mine um, this is going to be the exact one that you guys need for YouTube we're going to click download and then when you guys go to your YouTube channel and you guys go to the customization settings you guys will be able to add that to your YouTube channel and it will automatically format it so it will show everything in the middle and you guys don't have to worry about the top at all um, you guys don't have to worry about like sizing it at all um, YouTube does it all for you if you guys like this video I would appreciate it again if you guys could hit a huge like on this video you guys could also subscribe to the channel I appreciate you guys so much for watching all the way till the end I'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel channel. Peace.